Hello, and welcome to another episode of Think About It. My name is Dr. Leslie Fridge, and I am the Interim Dean of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. And I often get asked, what is behavioral sciences? And for behavioral sciences for our college are the departments of psychology and counseling. And here today, we have two very special guests from our department of psychology. And so I would like to introduce to you the fabulous Dr. Tracy Wittenberg. Hi friends, and this is my buddy, Boop. Yes, Boop is one of our teaching assistants in the College of um, Education and Behavioral Sciences in Psychology. And so we're gonna talk about Boop and Dr. Wittenberg here in just a minute. But this semester, and actually it started last, last semester, the psychology department had this awesome idea of let's offer electives that are super fun. And these are called special topic electives, Psychology 2381. And so this is our second semester to offer a special topics class in psychology. And that's where Dr. Wittenberg and Professor Boop come in. Um, this semester, they are teaching together a class on special topics, the psychology of pets. And so I'm going to turn this over to you, Tracy, now, if you can just tell us a little bit about where did this particular topic come from and what does that look like in your class? You know, the topic really came from a discussion that I was having with several of my colleagues uh, just about things that we do outside of teaching. And one of the things that I do is I show cats. And they, and they brought up, well, you should do a class on the psychology of pets. And I was like, I think that's a great idea. And so I talked with my teaching assistant here, Professor Boop, um, and we came up with the idea and put together a special topics course that really focuses on comparative psychology. And that is, what, how are we alike with our pets and how do we differ? And then also, how do we build relationships? We talk about things like communication and not only about how do animals communicate with each other, but how do they communicate with us? And if you have a pet, you know that animals communicate with you. We talk about the difference in our senses and how while we're pretty adept at hearing, seeing, and smelling, the animals that we live with and the animals that are around us are much better at it than we are. We have some really cool activities planned for this semester. Not only will Boop be coming to help in some classes, some of my students will be bringing their pets in, but then we have a couple of field trips planned for the class. Um, we're gonna be going to the Houston Zoo where I am a docent and a volunteer. So we'll be able to kind of give a, a little bit of a behind the scenes tour there at the Houston oh. Zoo. Um, and then we have a special project, again associated with the zoo, and it's a sea turtle rescue and beach cleanup opportunity. So lots of fun things going on in psychology of pets. But you know, my class, Special Topics, isn't the only kind of cool, fun class that we do in psychology. Okay, so before we talk about some of these other special topics, which really are cool and fun. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the credentials of Professor Boop here. Professor Boop is a CFA, which is um, the Cat Fanciers Association, registered Maine Coon cat. He's 22 pounds. Um, and he would be in color class, he is a silver classic tabby. And his really, really fancy name is X Maine's Maroc. He wouldn't know you if you hit him in the head with that. All he knows is Boop, and he has competed all over the United States and has earned the, the title of Grand Champion of Distinction. I am very impressed, yes. and I hope that our viewers can see how beautiful he is. He is a beautiful cat, and he is purring so loudly right now. I'm not sure if that picked up on the mic, but I wish everyone could hear what just a sweetheart he is. Um, and how he sounds right now. Yes. It's actually pretty fun. Oh, so buddy. Um, I know that the students look forward to having him come to class and, um, and just to show everyone that we do credential all of our faculty Absolutely. here, even our animal ones. So Absolutely. This is good. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about some of those special topic courses because the psychology of pets, if I was a student here at HCU, I definitely want to take that one, but what are some of the other ones? We have some really cool cl classes. Dr. Pelletier offers the psychology of toys. 
I know, right? Mm -hmm. And then one that I would personally really like to take with Dr. Pelletier is the psychology of Star Wars. That would make sense with Dr. Pelletier yes. with Star Wars. If you've ever been to his office, you would know that, yes. So and, what are some other, like where do the ideas come from? You know, a lot of them come from our interests. Um, coming next year, Professor Marino and I will be offering Psychology of Comic Books. And so we're really excited about that. And a lot of them just come from our personal interests. Um, you know, if you know Dr. Pelletier, he is really into toys. Just go to his office. Um, and it just came about through a conversation that both Professor Marino and I have a background and a love for comic books. So we are going to be offering a class in that also. So it just comes from the areas of interest and loves that we have as professors here at HCU. I love this. I absolutely love this. And I love when I'm in your meetings and I hear the discussion about the fun and excitement that you guys are having about coming up with the new topics and different things and offerings for our students here. So now those are all the fun things in yes. um, electives for psychology, but our psychology department is huge. It's it is. one of the largest, if not the largest one here on campus um, with student enrollment and um, a lot of different offerings. So let's look at some of the degree plans and degree offerings that students could pursue if they were interested in psychology. Absolutely. So let's start first with, um, I know Dr. Wittenberg that you are a licensed LSSP. I am. So why don't we tell everyone, share what that is and how the route through our college um, students can become LSSPs and what exactly that is and what would you do with that? Absolutely. I will tell you that LSSP is a licensed specialist in school psychology and a much, much needed profession within the public schools. School psychologists are kind of the jack of all trades. We work with students, we work with families within the special ed system, the special education system. We provide counseling for students. We work with teachers and administrators in planning appropriate programming for students with special needs. And then we also do the assessment um, to determine whether or not a child may qualify for special education services. And so we are kind of not only greatly in need within the public schools, we are the jack of all trades um, and a highly highly if you look at the data right now they're forecasting for the next 10 years that there is a critical need um, in school psychology so our program here at HCU the SSP program is a master's level program it's a 60 hour program that meets the criteria and enables our students to set for the licensure exam through the Texas Board uh, of Executive Health, the, um, specifically TESBIP, the okay. Board of Examiners of Psychology. So once they complete our program, they can sit for the examinations and become fully licensed or credentialed as an LSSP in the state of Texas. So a school psychologist. Yes. So you said it was a master's program. It so is So for a our master's. students that may be listening to this, um, and they're undergraduate students. Yes. Is there a particular undergraduate degree that they would need to have to become an LSSP in, in our program? That is such a great question. And I will tell you, we have students from truly all backgrounds. We have individuals who have been teachers. We have individuals who come to us from the school diagnostician programs. We have individuals who have a psychology bachelor's degree, but we also have people who come to us with biology degrees, um, with, um, we actually have somebody who was a legal assistant. So we have a lot, people from various backgrounds that, that come into our program. Okay, thank you. Now that's just one of several wonderful programs in our psychology department. Let's start with our undergrad. We have an undergrad bachelor's degree, a four-year undergrad in psychology. And what do most of the students that major in that, because students who are listening to this may be one of our students in that program right now. Kind of what is a, a career path that those students might normally take or recommended to take? Right. With an undergraduate degree in psychology, there's certainly some areas that are open. There are 
working within some private clinic as behavioral therapists that, that are available, working within the public health community as intake specialists or case managers. Um, it's that type of field that don't require a license, if you will, in order to participate. So our students with a psychology background go into a lot of different areas. Law enforcement is one, some pursue the medical profession. So it kind of depends on their area of interest because a bachelor's in psychology opens up just a lot of, of avenues that you could pursue. So if you wanted to be licensed of some type, you would have to then pursue a master's or even a PhD level Correct. program. Okay? Correct. So let's look, we've already talked about one of our HCU master's mm -hmm. programs, the LSSP program, but I know that we have just rolled out an MAP, what we call five year. Yes. And so let's talk about that. Really exciting program. You started talking about our undergraduates. Right. Undergraduates who are really interested in pursuing a master's in psychology um, are able during their sophomore year to apply for our MAP, Master's in Psychology 5 program. And what that does, it gives them the opportunity during their junior and senior years here at HCU to take courses on the master's level. So when they finish at the four years, they have their bachelor's degree, and with one more year here at HCU, they then finish up a master's degree. So it's the MAP, master's in five years. So you come out with a, your bachelor's and a master's in psychology. That is exciting. Isn't I know that awesome? we're very excited about that, and we may have students now that are in the four year psychology program that would like to consider just one more year and you come right. with the bachelor's and a master's. Yes. Love that. It's an excellent, really, really exciting program. And that master's in psychology, if you think about it, there's really two tracks within our master's in psychology program. Okay. One would be for students who are really interested in like research and perhaps going into research full time or pursuing a PhD okay. um, or PsyD or a student that might be interested in teaching at the community college or junior college level. So there's really two interest tracks within our Masters of Psychology program. Okay, so in the, master, the MAP, I'm familiar yes. with it being called a MAP. MAP. So our MAP program is actually separate than the MAP five-year program. Exactly. And so again, this would be a Masters in Psychology mm -hmm with the different tracks, like you just explained, thank you. Um, would that be also like the LSSP as far as an undergrad degree moving into that program? Um, you certainly with an undergraduate degree in psychology could move into the SSP program, but it's a longer program. Well, the MAP, I'm sorry, the MAP, like what would be the qualifications for a student to come for the master's just in psychology. One you know, of a tracks. number of the a number of the programs within the MAP program mirror some of the requirements for our SSP program. Okay. Okay. And so, a student, if they are in the MAP program and discover, you know, I really think I'd, I'm I'm being called or led to work within the schools, that then they could apply to the SSP program and move into because two different programs, two very different requirements. Okay, but for our students um, that just want MAP, either mm -hmm. the teaching track uh -huh. at a junior college or something, or for research onto a doctorate level, right. um, are their undergrads similar? Like they can have an undergrad in any any they program? Can, any program, but there may be okay. some prerequisite courses at the undergraduate level that they might have to pick up, I see. but okay. any program would be um, able to apply for the MAP. Okay, and here at HCU, our master's programs are offered, our MAP programs are offered online and residential. Correct. So that's wonderful that the yes. students have options on the modality of how they're going to take their classes. And this might be a surprise, it's not approved, it's in proposal stage. But we are proposing here in the co-ebs at HCU to have an associate's degree mm -hmm. moving forward in psychology. Mm -hmm. And so that would be yet another option for students for us in our psychology department. And so we're just looking really forward to all the opportunities, the growth in our department. As everyone can tell, we have fabulous professors yes. in our department. They come in all shapes and sizes and how they look, beautiful. Um, 
Anything else, Dr. Wittenberg, that you would like to say about mm -hmm. Professor Boop, about your class, about our psychology department? You know, I'm, I'm just going to say one thing. Being here at HCU, I think that's what sets us apart from every other program, whether it's mm -hmm. It's here in Houston or a little bit further north is our, fish, our Christian focus and our focus on faith. And I think that that shines through in everything that we do. And I think it's so important and really sets us apart, if you will, from the other cats in the pack. <laughs> That's good. And you are so correct. Um, main reason that I'm here is because of that Christian education and opportunity piece. So thank you for your time and for Professor Boop's time coming out. Um, but before we head off, you know, psychology is not the only department in co-ebs. We also have counseling and education. And so just wanted to mention those. Hopefully they'll be featured in another Think About It uh, podcast. But our counseling programs are master's level programs that lead to some lead to licensure, some with focus in Christian counseling. Um, we, our education department, certifications and licensures from initial teachers to professional certs to principals to superintendents our doctoral first doctoral program here at hcu is in our education department so a lot of options in college of education and behavioral sciences you can follow us on social media we have twitter account instagram and a facebook page or you are welcome to come and visit any of us in hinton on the third floor so that's it for our time together here. Thank you again for coming out, Boop, and joining us here, Dr. Wittenberg. And hopefully everybody will join us next time for another podcast of Think About. Thank you. <laughs>